Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio. I am joined today by Abby, Elmo, and Lego Space Guy. Mr. Moose is on vacation, and in this video we'll be talking about five things you can't do in Zoom. Now, you might wonder why it's useful to learn about things you can't do in Zoom. I have two reasons. One, hopefully if you were setting out to try and do one of these things, this will save you some time because now you'll know that it's not possible. And two, maybe if somebody from Zoom is watching this, they'll consider these feature requests because these are all based on questions I have gotten in comments on my other Zoom tutorials on YouTube. So with that, let's dive right in. Number one, can I rearrange the participants in gallery view? Say if you are a student and you want to have your friends clustered together so it feels like you're sitting together, or maybe you're a teacher and you have one or a couple students that you want to keep an eye on so you want to have them centered on your screen. But nope, you can't do it. I cannot click and drag people around. There is no way to reorder these thumbnails. Same applies if you are in speaker view. You cannot reorder these thumbnails at the top. So no clicking, dragging, moving these around. So nope, can't do it. So again, Zoom, if you're watching this, maybe consider that a feature request. People would like to be able to reorder these. Number two, this is a really big one. Can I get side-by-side -side mode in scenarios other than when somebody else is sharing their screen? So, as you may know, side-by-side -side mode is an option you have when somebody else is sharing their screen that will let you see the shared content here on the left and the thumbnails of the video participants over on the right. You get a bar you can drag to resize this, you can still switch between speaker and gallery view, and you can also go up here to view options and exit side-by-side -side mode completely, then you'll get the shared content big here and some thumbnails across the top. But this only occurs when somebody else is sharing their screen. So let's see what happens if Elmo stops sharing and I try to share my screen instead. So I am going to share my screen, select a PowerPoint file I've prepared, hit share. And you see that my PowerPoint file is now taking up the whole screen and I have this little floating window of thumbnails with everybody else in it. But I do not have an option to go into side-by-side -side mode. So I go up here to my toolbar, I click more. There's no side-by-side -side button. So people ask, hey, I want to have my PowerPoint over on the left and then that view of everybody over on the right in side-by-side -side mode, just like I did when somebody else was sharing, you can't do that. You can kind of hack it by shrinking your PowerPoint to half your screen and then you can kind of have these side-by-side -side so you can still see people, but there will be a limit to how many thumbnails you can see in this window. And it's going to look kind of weird for everybody else if your PowerPoint isn't full screen. So this will now also appear smaller for them. If you have two monitors, there is an option you can check in the Zoom settings to use dual monitors. That will let you drag this over to a second monitor like I can do here and see some more people. But it's still not the same as that side-by-side -side mode if you're on a single monitor. People do ask about this in the context of just participant video without screen sharing. So say if I wanted a side-by-side -side view of just me and Elmo without the other participants, so it's not really gallery view where I have equal size thumbnails of everyone, and it's not really speaker view where one person is big, it's kind of part way in between. There isn't a simple one-click way to do that. There is kind of a workaround you can do by muting the video of the other participants and then hiding non-video participants. I have a separate video showing how to do that linked in the description. But again, in terms of things you can't do in Zoom right now, there's no simple way to do side-by-side -side view either of your own screen share and yourself or of you and another participant. So number three, is there a way to see a live preview of exactly what is being recorded during the meeting? So some of you out there have dealt with the nightmare scenario of recording an entire class, maybe where different students are speaking or different people are sharing slides. And then you go look at the recording at the end and it recorded the wrong thing or not what you thought it was going to. So one person was speaking and it recorded a speaker view face of somebody else just sitting there or somebody was sharing their slides and the slides are a little thumbnail up in the right instead of large. And unfortunately right now, there's no way to know that until after the fact. You have to finish the meeting and then go look at the recording and by then it's too late. So it would be great if there was a live preview window that did show you exactly what is being recorded during the meeting so you can fix it on the fly if you need to but unfortunately right now there's no way to do that. So I do have a separate video linked in the description that covers some of those nuances of what exactly gets recorded based on what you're doing in Zoom. You can check that out if you need to, but again, if anybody from Zoom is watching this, please consider that one a big feature request. Number four, can I force participants into side-by-side -side mode when sharing my screen? Or more generally, can I control the view for the participants? So maybe you have younger students or less tech savvy users and you really just don't feel like explaining 
all of this speaker versus gallery view and full screen and side-by-side -side mode, all the different options. I do have another video linked in the description that covers all of those different options, but sometimes you'd like to be able to just control it for the user and not have to worry about it. So as the host, you do have the option to spotlight a video. You can right click on someone, select spotlight video, that should highlight them in speaker view for all of the other participants, but they still retain individual control over their view. So if they want to pin somebody else, they can. If they want to switch back to gallery view or go in and out of full screen mode or in and out of side by side mode, if someone else is sharing their screen, all of the individual participants still have the ability to do that. You can't lock everybody into a single type of view. Now, Zoom does have a webinar option, which is much more locked down and doesn't have participant video, so there aren't as many view options. But in the case of the meeting, which seems like the vast majority of people are using, you as the host cannot control everybody else's view for them. Last but not least, several people have asked if there's a way to rapidly toggle back and forth between either two different types of shared content or between your shared content and your face without having to go back down to share screen every time. So the answer there is that right now, every time you want to share something, you need to hit share screen, and then you need to find the program you want to share, hit share, and then when you want to stop sharing, you need to go up to stop share. So there are keyboard shortcuts to do that, but then every time you want to share it again, you have to hit share screen and find it. So there are a couple workarounds you can do to make that more efficient. One I'd recommend is closing everything that doesn't have to do with your meeting that you don't intend to share, so that way you're not digging through as big of a list of things here. The other option is to share your entire screen as opposed to a specific program. So if you share the whole screen and then you have, say, a PowerPoint and a Word document open, you don't have to stop sharing and then select a different program each time. I can just hit share and then go back and forth between my PowerPoint and my Word document on this monitor. But there's no single keyboard shortcut to say, hey, I'm only going to be sharing this PowerPoint and I want to be able to just rapidly toggle back and forth between these only by hitting this button and not having to select the PowerPoint again each time. You can't do that. Bonus item. So at the beginning of the video, I said I would only cover five things, but I just remembered a sixth. Breakout rooms. People want to know if you can create breakout rooms that participants can hop between at will. So if you're using Zoom for an alumni event or a social mixer or something, and you just wanna have different rooms that people can move between freely, or if you are holding office hours and you want to set up rooms and say, this room's for problem one, this room's for problem two, join the room for the problem you wanna discuss. Right now, you can't do that. The host has to assign people to breakout rooms. So you can either have Zoom do this automatically where you just tell it the number of rooms you want it to create, and it will put people in the rooms or you can do it manually where you can drag the names of who you want to go into each room, but there's no way to just open up rooms and then let participants join them at will. So again, that can be very useful for different scenarios like office hours, social events, that sort of thing. So a little bonus item I threw in at the end there because I forgot about that when I started the video. So as always, I hope you found this video useful, especially if you are teaching online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In this case, especially if you think I am wrong about something, if there is a way to do some of these things in Zoom, maybe using a third-party application that I wasn't aware of, please leave a comment and let me and others know, and you can always ask if you have a question, and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.